Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and what I've got here on the left is Apple's new iPad Air for 2013 and on the right we've got Microsoft's Surface 2 tablet. And in this series of videos I'm going to be showing you some direct comparisons between the two devices uh, with regards to things like media consumption, media creation, settings, email, hardware differences as well and just to give you a feel for how they differ now, not all of the features on both of these devices are going to be directly comparable because they're running different operating systems. But I just want to give you a feel for how these two tablets might fit into your lifestyle. So let's start with a look at the iPad Air here on the left. Running iOS 7, familiar sort of uh, icon based desktop. And for this first video, I want to just look at the settings. So if we tap on settings here on the iPad, you can see here it's laid out on a sort of a two pane design. So on the left here, we've got settings that we can select. And then on the right hand panel, we've got the changes we can make within that particular segment. So concentrating first on this left hand panel, we can change things like Wi-Fi settings, Bluetooth settings, also the notification center. So we can control what comes up on the device when it's in sleep mode, uh, what comes up as notifications at the top, etc. We've also got control center. We've also got a do not disturb feature. We've got some general settings as well. And in here we can do software update, set passcodes. We've also got some sound settings, wallpaper and brightness settings, some privacy settings, iCloud settings, uh, a panel where we can actually set up various mail contacts and calendar accounts. We've also got our notes, reminders, messages, FaceTime, map settings as well. We've also got Safari settings. And then further down, we've got application specific settings. So everything's set out sort of really nicely, nice and easy to get to, and we can flick through fairly easily. If we go back into general settings, for example, let's just have a look further down here. We can change date and time, keyboard settings, international. Uh, we can even do a reset if we so wish. Uh, lock rotation, mute the device. So it's all pretty much laid out as we would expect. Now let's just have a look at Surface 2. Let's just unlock the device. And of course this is at the Windows 8.1 uh, modern user interface. I really like this. I know we're not talking primarily about the user experience or user interface in this video, but with the icon based design on the iPad, that's what you're gonna get, that is it. So you're jumping in and out of applications. With this, you get this really nice fluid interface, tiled interface, and you get updates within some of the tiles as well. So we've got a weather update here. We've got details about a recent email that came in. We've got some interactions on Twitter and the social networks coming in. So it looks really nice. Now to access the settings, we swipe to the right and you can see here, we've got settings come up just here. And we've got quick access to the most uh, sort of most used settings that you're gonna use. We've got Geek Wi-Fi Network, which is my uh, network that I'm using. We've also got volume controls, we've got screen brightness controls, notifications, power and keyboard. We can also do personalize here so we can change colors. We can also jump into tiles and affect how the tiles are actually displayed. And we can also tap help which gives us a guide for changing various settings. And if we want to dig deeper, so rather than it being this two pane design and you've got everything accessible in, in sort of two panel screens, we get the quick access, but then we can also dig further in by tapping on change PC settings. And here it's very, very similar to iOS in the fact that we've got this sort of two panel design where we can select various things on the left hand panel and then change them on the right. So we've got things like lock screen, display, Bluetooth, devices, mouse and touchpad, typing settings. Uh, corners and edges, so how you're going to interact with the device in various uh, sort of corners and edges of the screen. Power and sleep settings, just here. Autoplay and also PC info. And then we can go back and actually select different options here. So we've got accounts, SkyDrive, search and apps, privacy settings, network, time and language, ease of access. I've just popped into time and language here, so you can change your time zone and date, etc ease of access, update and recovery, where we can perform software updates. So it's very, very well laid out on both devices. 
And I think that the uh, iOS device is a lot simpler, but this has been a lot more thought out. I think it's very, very easy to navigate the settings on the Surface 2. And I like the fact that when we're on the home screen and we swipe across the settings, we get access to the most common used ones, first of all, before we have to go further into the settings pane. In this one, you're presented with everything straight away. I know we've got a general settings here, but everything is in your face straight away. So I think this is nice that we get a sort of a simplified settings panel, first of all, before going further into more in-depth and advanced settings. They're both good. Neither company has done it right or wrong. Uh, I think they're very, very easy to set up on both devices, and I absolutely love both of them. But I hope that's given you an insight into how they sort of differ in, uh, in the actual setup procedure. So that's it for this video. Please do stay tuned for more in this series. If you've enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel as well, and I'll see you all in the next one.